Every day I grind and I'm dedicated. Roll up, then I pull up four ounces in my soda. I've been real from the stroller. I'm a smart like soda. I'm a big spender. Mink in the winter. Lunch at Kinder's. Having skates for dinner. I'm a come ready. Lay her down, put it in her belly. I ain't hidden if the smelly. You better have my money when I come for this shit like ODB. Paparazzi, catch my fly and my cocky fresh. All right, a little more noise for the Cardo Dance Department. Give it up for them. Wow. I don't know about you, but I learned a few new moves. I'm like ready to pop lock and maybe come out of this sweater at some point during the night. Good evening to each and every one of you. Good evening. You can say that back to me. It's good. Good evening. Good evening. Excellent. So my name is Holly Murchison, and I have the honor and privilege of being your host and moderator for the main stage over the next four days. Is anyone excited about being at Campus Party Europe? All right. Make some noise for yourselves one time, please. Lots of noise, lots of noise. Yes. I'm into noise and applause and things of that nature. I think this is a, a wonderful space for celebration and innovation, and it's a pleasure to be here with you all tonight. So I just want to do a temperature check and uh, see who's here. And please stand up. Any speakers in the house tonight? Please stand. Please stand. Speakers, give it up for our speakers who are modestly, modestly standing. 
And I want you to remain standing. Remain standing, please. Remain standing. Are there any uh, volunteers in the house tonight? Volunteers, where are you? Give it up for the volunteers, please, who worked tirelessly. <laughs> I love that you came on up. It's perfect timing, tech team. Volunteers, any press here? Any press? Okay, we've got press here tonight. Any partners here, companies, organizations, folks who have helped make the challenges and the experiences go? Yes, stand, stand, stand. Excellent. You all can sit down, because I think there may be one group that I left out, some campus zeros. Are there any students in the house tonight, students? Take a stand, students, please. So I heard that we have, I, you came on stage for the selfie earlier, so I just have a high five for you early on. Thank you. So rumor has it there are over 2,000 students here with us today. Over 2,000 students. So I just want to gauge, is anyone here from, I, I've come from New York by way of California, so I'm here from the U.S. Anyone from the U.S. here? We'll get, boy, woo, we got one woo in the front. All right, so two of us, <laughs> two of us. Anyone from a little closer, Eastern Europe, are you here? Anyone from Asia? All right. I heard Brazil is in the house pretty seriously, pretty heavy here. Yeah, I heard Brazil is here. And, and the Dutch, anyone representing for the Dutch? Woo! Surprise, surprise. It is going to be a very exciting next few days. We've got workshops and talks and challenges. And this is all in the spirit of creating a better world. And in my work in the States, I run a communication agency that we're constantly asking each other the question, how do we mobilize the next generation of thinkers and makers and doers to use their voices to change the world doing work that they love? And so the convening of all of you here is such a special and magical time. And I'm just curious to know, are you ready to get this campus party started? Are you ready to get this campus party started? Let me hear it. That's what I'm talking about. So to get us warmed up, it is a great honor and a privilege to welcome to the stage the director of Campus Party Europe, who's worked tireless, tirelessly with the team to make this happen. Please join me in giving a very warm welcome and round of applause to Mr. Radlik Vajmiller. Was that good? Was my accent good? I'm working on it. This truly is amazing. Look at this. Look at all these people here. I'm so proud to be standing here. This really has been a journey from last year to today, and today we're celebrating it with you. Welcome to Campus Party Europe! And a special welcome to the Deputy Mayor of Utrecht, Mr. Jon Krijkamp. Thank you for being here tonight with us. And thank you for joining us, all honored and distinguished guests that are sitting in the front and in the back. Thank you for joining us. And as Holly said, you guys out there in the front, but moreover in the back, the campus heroes, you're the heroes of Campus Party. Thank you for coming. I'm so proud to be standing here because this is the fourth European edition of Campus Party. In 2010, we were at Madrid. In 2012 and 2013, in London and Berlin. And now, Utrecht, number four, in 2016. And we're here for a reason. We're here for a reason. As you know, the Netherlands is at this very moment the chairman of the EU. And part of that um, a chairmanship is really the idea to bring something good to Europe and to make something happen here. And what we really try to achieve here during this uh, presidency is to encourage people to look at technology in a different way, to work with technology to innovate, not just to innovate, but also to create and also to build new companies, to start companies, to create startups. That's really the spirit of Campus Party, and it's the spirit of this presidency of the EU as well, of the Dutch presidency of the EU. And Utrecht is not just a, sig a city that was chosen to host this event. Uh, Utrecht is not just in the center of the Netherlands, 
but it also has a very renowned um, number of knowledge institutions. The Universiteit of Utrecht, the University of Utrecht, renowned all over the world. The Hogeschool Utrecht, the HKU, the AKU, the Art School of uh, Utrecht, very renowned all over the world. This is a center where knowledge is embraced. This is the place where entrepreneurship around technology and around knowledge is embraced in various sectors, in the healthcare sector, for example. Utrecht is a city where it all happens, where we look at technology and where we look at adopting technology to find solutions for the problems that we all face in this world. And um, I think that um, on behalf of, uh, of the whole organization uh, of Campus Party, I would just be, I'm, I'm just very grateful to everyone who has participated in this event to make this happen. Um, we're standing here at the grounds of Jaarbeurs, and Jaarbeurs is very proud to be the, the host of this event. And as I said, Utrecht is not just there for a reason. One of the major uh, themes that um, uh, Utrecht has embraced is what uh, is called healthy urban living. And really what it's all uh, meaning is that we all are facing a world where things are changing rapidly. Not just the climate, demography is changing as well. In a few decades, we will be, we will be with 10 billion people on this planet. That's 50% more than what we have today. 10 billion people, where do they live? 90% of them will live in cities. If they live in cities, how are we make sure that we provide them with water, food, energy, housing, transportation, the right education? What do we do with security at the time? All items, all issues, all challenges, I should say, that we believe we can solve through technology, through working with technology and really to look at how technology can help us to move further down the road. And this is what Campus Party is all about. This is why you are here. This is why the next few days you will be working very hard in finding solutions for those challenges. And let me just briefly introduce you to two challenges that I think are very worth looking at during these days. And I hope that you will participate in those. First of all, we have the business marathons. Those are 70 hour long uh, competitions, hackathons, challenges. Um, that will be organized um, through a whole group of institutions, including the local governments and some other companies around the, uh, the Utrecht region, um, focusing on energy, what is energy going to look like in the near future, and the other one is on mobility, on smart mobility, and I think those will be very worthwhile looking at. Another one um, is looking at refugees. How can we make sure that in this world, refugees can be protected can be helped in a better way by using the data that we have all over the place, but that not, that are not necessarily put down in the, in the right way uh, or analyzed in the right way. Let's try this week to, uh, to create some solutions there, or at least find some breakthrough thoughts to make that uh, happen in the near future. Um, some speakers that will be on stage in the next uh, few days uh, that I'm looking forward to um, are number one, Dirk Alborn. He's the CEO of Hyperloop. And Hyperloop is that new fantastic transportation system that will link, or that's at least the, the vision of, uh, of the founder of Hyperloop, uh, Elon Musk, that will link cities like uh, San Francisco and LA through a tube. And within that tube, there will be transportation system. And Dirk Alborn is going to be here to tell you all about it. And he will bring the, the number two team in the worldwide the global competition, uh, actually a team from Holland in Delft, to talk with you and to share with you all their ideas and thoughts and philosophies. I think that will be a fantastic speech, a fantastic talk. And the other one I'm looking forward to is Matt Wilson, who's going to talk, uh, talk about um, civilian space exploration. And really what's, what they are looking at is a Danish uh, group. Uh, they're looking at uh, how we can uh, fund and uh, uh, generate space traveling. And it's a civilian operation. It's really cool. I think uh, that will be a fantastic speech as well. Um, what I think uh, I would like to do now is to thank the volunteers. We have about 160 people working for you day and night to make this campus party happen. Uh, volunteers, just raise your hand. You have the t-shirts, but raise your hand, the volunteers. All around. <laughs> Big round of applause for you guys. Thank you. You are putting so much effort in making this a great event. 
You are here to help the campusiers, to support them with any questions you, they might have. You are working here day and night, 24 hours a day. Really incredible job. Thank you. Thank you so much. And finally, finally, the campus heroes. This is your party. This is your week. This is your CPEU4. This is your moment to shine, to stand up, to work together, to embrace each other, to collaborate, to create, to co-create, and to make something new, to find solutions that will help all of us live in a better world in the near future. Because it is your future that you're building here today. We say at Campus Party, we don't talk about the future, we are building the future. And I hope you will do that in the next few days. And I would now like to introduce the Deputy Mayor, Mr. Jeroen Krijkamp, to have a few words to you. Thank you. Thank you, Roderick. What an energy. Great. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Utrecht. Welcome to the Abers. Welcome to the campus party, the world's largest tech event. The city, the province of Utrecht, and the Economic Board of Utrecht, all the other sponsors and partners value your presence highly. For us, it's exciting to realize that young, talented, and expert people are tackling the challenges for the future, making Utrecht the place where both history and the future are written. I'm sure that all the campus heroes and other guests will feel at home in Utrecht. In Utrecht already many young and talented people work on innovation. In Utrecht, we not only talk about the future, but we build the future. In the field of, for example, life sciences, IT, sustainability and healthcare. We, as Utrecht, participate in the European Climate Key IC program, Smart Sustainable Districts. The area between this location and our main trade station is an icon for sustainable redevelopment. The project demonstrates how to introduce innovation, innovations at a local district level, making it possible to test and to scale up integrated innovations in a smart way. Finally, securing reductions in our greenhouse gas and carbon footprint. It's just an example out of many, where Utrecht institu institutions, companies, talented people are tackling one of the main challenges of mankind, healthy urban living. And focus on the creation of green, healthy and smart cities for our children and grandchildren in a world where both the amount and the scale of our cities grow. An ambition that's unthinkable without innovation, without the internet, without new technology. And it is also part of our challenge you are taking up the next coming days here at the campus party. I'm sure that your work will inspire us even more. We are very pleased that you're here. Please enjoy your stay here in Jabers and enjoy your challenges and have fun. For now, I'm very honored to open the fourth campus party together with Mr. Albert Arp, CEO of Jabers. And from here, I want to introduce him as the next speaker. Thank you very much. Thank you, Vice, thank you, Vice Major. Thank you, Jeroen. Um, it's very honorful to be a part of this coalition for the Yarbers, for me as a CEO also. Um, I can add some words. I can, 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 can give you a speech, official, 20 minutes. I don't think you wait for that. We'll wait for that. I think we want to start. Um, it's very impressive, the energy that's, that's, now, that's, that's here that you, bring, that you bring to us. It's very impressive 
that our uh, coalition is making this solution and I think we will have a new powerhouse of innovation, a new powerhouse of creativity and a new powerhouse of intelligence. And I hope you will bring that solution that my, my, my colleague, uh, uh, Roderick Weissmuller, as you announced him, uh, has, has asked for you. Uh, I think, Vice Major, that we can uh, start the opening act and uh, I hope you will help us to count down to really uh, start this great event. Have great days. Okay, will you help us? Three, two, one, go! Let's dance. 